Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. To start, I just gotta say that you should not expect this projector to act like this one. You gotta remember this is a cheap, low quality projector meant for budget people looking for a basic, basic, bare minimum experience of a projector. With all that said and out of the way, now let's begin with the box. Inside the box you get a cheap light plastic remote, the projector of course, a RCA or whatever thing adapter, an external PSU, and a manual, which for some reason I forgot to show in the video. The projector has the following ports, a micro SD slot, I guess you wouldn't call that a port, a 5 volt in, a audio video in, a headphone jack, a DC in, an HDMI port, although the company may say it's a display port, that's at least what they told me, and a USB port. Oh, and there's one more thing. It has a standard thread for your tripod, in case you want to mount it on that. On the side, it has a manual focus lever, and it supports a maximum resolution of 720p 60Hz. When playing games on this projector, I did notice uh, some lag, but it was very, very little, and I barely noticed it, if at all. And of course, the 60Hz 2 milliseconds response time was definitely noticeable. Uh, don't really take me on that response time, I think it's like 2-5 to five milliseconds. For watching movies or playing games, this is definitely a good budget option. But don't think about reading. Reading with this projector is horrible, no matter how far back, how far forward, how much you focused, small text like that on YouTube was unreadable. I could, I could barely read the text on American Truck Simulator. Compared that to a monitor, this projector makes a lot of noise. Uh, well, yeah, pretty much noise. I'm not gonna do a sound test, though. That's not really noticeable when playing uh, sounds on your external speakers. Yes, the built-in speakers on this thing are worse than your $40 smartphone, so forget about that. Um, now let's move on to the specs, I guess. This projector uses TFT LCD displaying technology, 400 to 600 lumens of light, which is pretty good. It has a good contrast ratio, although uh, my $30 monitors have better contrast. This thing has an 800, 800 to 1, if you want to measure that exactly. The native res is 320 by 240. You can overclock it to 1920 by 1080 for a more crisp picture, but it does make the response time lower, and uh, it's not really full 1080p, it's 1080i. The light is an LED, and it lasts 30,000 hours, supposedly. The focus is manual, the project projection distance is 0.8 to 2 meters. It can project a screen size anywhere from 24 to 60 inches without being too blurry. The projection ratio is 1.6 to 1. The aspect ratio is 4 to 3, not 16 to 9. Note that if you're looking for a widescreen uh, uh, projector. The color it has is 16.7 million. It takes 10 to 24 watts of power. I know it takes like 24 when you're watching something, 10 more like on idle. And that's about all there is to the specs. So finally, the last thing. Did I have a good experience with this? Well, the experience is pretty good. For a basic first time projection experience, it obviously is good, but if you want to read anything like I said, it's impossible. Words and text look blurry, you can't read anything. So is this the projector for you? Well, if you're looking for a $75 projector, projector, I keep mispronouncing that, then, well, I guess this is a choice. It's the bare minimum for watching nothing but movies without text. And if that's what you're looking for, for $75, I guess this is for you. Otherwise, if you want to be able to read something in your movie, forget it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and stay tuned for the trucking coming up every Saturday. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.